Hello everyone, this is Mark and due to popular demand in the form of comments on my previous guide, I have decided to finally make a video about how you can set up your user interface in a way that I think is quite clean, quite tidy and doesn't require a whole lot of add-ons. I'm going to be going through just the main ones and I'm not going to be going into much detail in regards to how they are set up because of course you might want something a bit different to what I have uh, but people have commented saying what add-ons I use so I'm going to explain that. Alright so the first add-on on my list is called Shadowed UF. Shadowed UF is what I use for my targets, my focus targets as well as target of target, every, every bit of party or targeting unit frame that you can think of. It's a unit frame modification as you can tell by the name and very much like Xpel you get a 3D portrait but unlike Xpel this actually looks good. It doesn't look like a messy cartoon replacement of your standard unit frames. It's very customizable which means that you can do things like this. You can move pretty much everything around that you can imagine and in my opinion it's very clean very simple looking and it's one that I recommend if you want to maybe spice up your user interface a bit. If you don't want to modify your unit frames and you just want to move them around you can use an add-on called move anything and this allows you just to select any part of the user interface and move it or resize it as you wish. The next add-on I'm going to be talking about is one called Razer Naga. I don't really have a reason for using this over Bartender, it's just a very simple action bar modification add-on that removes the stupid things on the side that the normal Blizzard action bars show and allows you to put bundle all the action bars together and make it much cleaner and in my opinion much more tidy. Another add-on that you might notice is the modification for the minimap that I use. This one in particular is called Sexy Map. Terrible name but it is what it is. Pretty straightforward, this allows you to modify your minimap. There are a number of templates. I use the blue square glow template. You can increase the size or decrease it. I just keep it at the standard one. I don't really do too much to it. But if you think that the normal minimap looks quite boring, this is a nice option to go for and there's not much else to it. Another add-on that you might notice is this chat modification add-on called Chatter. All it really does, for me at least, is you can remove the opacity, you can change the font size, and of course, like the normal Blizzard chat interface, you can just move it around, customize it. It's fairly standard, fairly simple, and I don't use it for anything other than just removing the opacity and resizing it to fit in my bottom left corner. I'm using this priest for the next demonstration of this add-on. You'll notice that I've just used paint suppression on it and you'll see that there is a cooldown left of 2.8 minutes. This is using an add-on called ISA and you can see on the bottom right corner I've placed it over here and it will allow me to see when certain targets have used their main defensive or offensive cooldown. So if I use Bladestorm or if somebody else uses Bladestorm, you will be able to see how long it'll take for Bladestorm to be usable again, or Hammer of Justice, or Avenging Wrath, or Divine Shield, or, or any add-on, or any cooldown that you might want to look out for. And so it's very useful, very simple, looks nice, doesn't take up too much of the screen, and one that I highly recommend, especially if you do arenas. If you watch my videos, you will have seen is an add-on called Sound Alerter. This lets you hear when certain enemies use certain cooldowns. So it could be offensive, it could be defensive, and I'm going to provide a demonstration right now. If I use Desperate Prayer, and then it will play the sound, as I will demonstrate right now. Desperate Prayer. Desperate Prayer. In quite a nice voice, actually. So this goes for Pain Suppression, Bladestorm, Shield Wall, stuff like that, Divine Shield, Pretty much any major cooldown that you can think of. Obviously, it's not going to tell you if you if I use charge or if the priest uses penance or flash of light or anything like that. Another couple of add-ons that I'm briefly going to mention: Gladius, super important, super essential arena add-on. If you do arenas, get Gladius. Don't even ask what it does; just get it, and you will see why. 
and deadly boss mods. If you do a lot of battlegrounds, I highly recommend that you get this as well because it shows you timers and when towers are going to be completely contested or controlled or, or destroyed or whatever word you want to use. Very useful. And that's my add-on and user interface video. To the people that have been asking for this for literally months, I'm sorry it's taken so long. I'm kind of lazy. And well, here it is finally and so people can stop asking me. Uh, I hope you found it useful. If you have any additional questions about how to specifically set up certain parts of your interface, whisper me in game. That is the best way to get into contact with me, uh, even though I do get a lot of whispers, so bear with me. If, you, if I don't answer you one time, try again later. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you found this entertaining as well as informative. My name is Marcus, and I will see you whenever I decide to make another video. Goodbye.